Preston, but uh, I told y'all so. Diddy is going to Preston, dog. Yo, look, this is looking really bad on the Diddler. The Diddler is not looking like he is going to pull through this without some severe consequences in his life. And I don't know about everybody else. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it coming too. I know I'm not the only one, but yo, with this much cracking and happening, yo, it's been a long time coming, bro. Diddy deserves exactly what is about to be happening to his ass, man. Diddy been on some foul for a long time and everybody in the industry has known about it man people have been talking about it for literal decades bro i mean yo i'm gonna just put it like this bro my boy fitty been up on this bro fitty been saying this he been slaying him at him bro ultimate trolls bro and i guarantee you right now somewhere fitty scent is sitting back with, with his vitamin water going ha told you so beep you know what i'm saying so look this is some breaking news type stuff. Uh, this is going down. Uh, I think they're still there as we speak, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of the inside knowledge because I personally have been raided multiple times by law enforcement. Now, I've never been raided by Homeland Security. That's that's not where I get my raids from. Uh, if, you, if you're getting raided by Homeland Security, you know you done messed something up real bad. So let me tell you guys this. I have a little bit of a background um, in doing trainings about human trafficking because it's really big in the state of Florida. So when I started doing my recovery stuff, you know, when I became a peer support recovery specialist, when I became a recovery coach, every year they have a training for everybody who's in recovery uh, and in the state of Florida and the Department of Homeland Security, them dudes come and they teach you because the Department of Homeland Security, they're the ones who be doing a lot of this trafficking investigations, a lot of these trafficking busts. And they are definitely the ones who showed up at Diddy's house. Hey, babe, do you want to let the baby out? Mm -hmm. So um, I am going to announce real quick, uh, the DeLay family has a new member. Um, for those of you who actually follow my personal life and me and Jackson Zero, um, our, our family has a new member, man. Uh, you know, me and Jax uh, had a baby. We had a baby. Uh, it, that's why she's never been on camera. Come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> Come here. I want to introduce to you guys our new baby. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this is our new little baby girl. She just arrived here today. She is a rescue. Hi, baby. Mm, I know. She came from a bad place, and she's a damn sweetheart. And in my opinion, I think she's pretty damn cute, too. She um, just wants her brother. We she's haven't so named bad. her yet, um, but she has the same nipples I do, just so you guys know. <laughs> we have the same nipples. Um, so I've been calling her Moner. We have Monster and Zero. I wanted to name her Moner, and Jax is like, it's sticking with Jax. Jax at first is like, that's such a stupid name. Why would we call a girl dog Moner? And now it matches her personality, and <laughs> Jax is like, ah, uh, so look, man, you guys, um, we're going to get into this stuff with Diddy because this is important. And, um, I don't know if I'm going to be on here for like a full hour. Like I usually am. Uh, there's not entirely that much to cover, but what is to cover is big. It's really big. So y'all know that there's been multiple lawsuits against Diddy. There's the one with Cassie where he just straight paid out. He was just like, look, I'll drop millions if you'll stop talking before the feds notice what you say. And right that happened. And then. Lil Rod, uh, Lil Rod was a producer that worked with him for 18 months on songs on his new album and dude like lived with them during this period of time. Lil Rod just dropped this whole lawsuit that had human trafficking allegations. It had sexual assault allegations. It had like the whole gamut of like, you a really bad dude and you need to go all the way to jail, prison, hell, wherever, all them places you need to go there. <clears throat> so and I mean, Diddy is, is doing bad stuff to dudes, man. And that's what shocked a lot of people more than anything. People kind of always assume that Diddy was like on some foul with females. But um, Diddy is doing bad stuff with dudes. His, his uh, uh, allegations from Lil Rod is that Diddy was grabbing his anus against his will repeatedly. Just anus grabbing, trying to pick him up like a, like a bowling ball, bro. You know what I'm saying? Two fingies and a thumb, bro. You know how you bowl? He trying to pick up Lil Rod like a bowling ball. Ain't no good way to be doing that, bro. There's no way that you you trying to grab a dude, pick him up by his leather Cheerio, grab him by the balloon knot that's not sus as hell, bro. He definitely on that sus. So, um, you know, that's definitely something that happened. 
uh, as far as these allegations go. But also in this, Lil Rod said that Diddy has been doing a lot of this sexual assault stuff in his homes and that he has secret hidden cameras all over the house, in every bedroom, in every bathroom, that Diddy has these cameras and probably got some little lurky ass back room where he sits there and just like cranks it out watching other people do weird ass stuff. Dude on dude, dude on chick, you know, probably dude on fish because he's a weirdo and you know, who knows what type of weird shit happens at these parties. Um, so with those types of allegations, I believe that's what the feds was looking for. I believe the Department of Homeland Security is looking for the tapes, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we call them tapes. Back in the day, it would have been tapes. Today, it would be hard drives, anything with a computer, anything with storage, anything that could have the memory um, from those videos of what was going on at the house for illegal activity. So simultaneously, at the same time, his house in LA and his house in Miami got raided by the Department of Homeland Security. They rolled up in armored trucks, bro. They rolled up and they said, we here, we here. So, you know, they pounded on the doors. They immediately started putting people in cuffs. They brought two of Diddy's sons out of one of the houses in cuffs. They started dragging them, babe. Could you make sure you grab these supers for me? I Thank have. you so much. Um, they're dragging dudes out in cuffs, um, which is standard. That's standard procedure. If your house is getting raided, especially in a situation like this, they're going to cuff everybody up till they assert who is who, and they make sure that they've got the situation under control. Honestly, with the fact that there's been so many allegations of like Diddy blowing up Kid Cudi's car and having shootings done, um, they're really lucky that they didn't flash grenade, you know, where they break out the window, throw a grenade in there that has like, you know, either a percussion or a flash that knocks everybody in the house out. And then you just wake up on the floor drooling on yourself, all cuffed up with a real bad headache. Trust me, those things suck. You don't want to be in that raid. They were actually kind of nice about this. They dragged people out real civil, like in cuffs. Um, and so, it's happened in LA and Miami at the same time. Now, the federal search warrant, they had a federal search warrant. It originated out of the Southern District of New York. Um, this is a coordinated federal homeland security ongoing investigation. According to, to the federal agents that were there, they're like, yeah, we've been investigating this for a while. We got a search warrant. They had to have enough evidence against Diddy to even get this search warrant. That's how it goes. They have to present a judge with enough evidence to say we need to search this dude's homes. Now, Diddy's famous, so if they screw that up, bro, if they go in there and they miss, it's gonna look really bad on them, like, and the feds, bro, so you're gonna have to come with real evidence. So they got enough to satisfy a judge to sign off on these search warrants. That judge could lose his job if this is a miss. So they really had to bring something of consequence to the judge to say that there is information, that there is evidence in that house that they need for their investigation against Diddy for being a human trafficker. Whoo. Now, immediately they seized guns. So in this, this type of case, it's automatic. They're going to remove guns from the house. It's not certain whether or not they're going to be keeping the guns, but they did remove guns. You could visibly see it from the uh, the reporter's choppers and the cameras, you could see them bring guns out of Diddy's house. That is standard operating procedure. Maybe Diddy will get his guns back. Maybe Diddy won't get his guns back. It just depends on how they want to play this. Um, there was no violence or resistance when the feds pulled out uh, of the houses. Um, when they were pulling people out, ain't nobody fought. There's no G shit, bro. Everybody was just like, damn the feds, cuff me up, take me out, right? So, you know, that went really smoothly for the feds. Um, so Diddy's whereabouts are unknown. And nobody has any idea where Diddy is right now. Now, nobody has seen the search warrants as far as the media. We don't know if there is a, an arrest warrant for Diddy right now. Diddy could have an arrest warrant out against him that we don't know about, but that would all be speculation. So I'm not trying to put no speculations out into, you know, Beyonce's internet saying that there is or there isn't. There might not be. This might just still be an investigation. They might not have any show of cause to be able to bring him in and even interrogate him yet, but they were looking for evidence 
to build this case that's been an ongoing investigation. Let me just tell you guys something about ongoing investigations with the feds, man. If the feds have had an ongoing investigation against you, you are in trouble, dog. You may as well start going churchy, bro. Like Ned Flanders it up, bro. Don't do nothing. Don't jaywalk. Don't cuss if there's a cell phone in the entire house, bro, because the feds is going to find out. They'll know if you fart or cough. If the feds want to know something, they going to find it out on you, bro. Um, there's currently no information if there's a search warrant or if there's a, if, if in the search warrant, if there's an arrest warrant for Diddy as of this time, we will see as things proceed. This is super breaking news. And I wanted to get on here and talk at y'all about it. I could have let it resonate and marinate a little bit and gather some more information. But like they're at the houses right now. It's, this shit is popping in the moment. Um, but I got stuff to do tonight, so I wanted to get on here in a normal time and just talk to you guys about this real quick. Um, so this this probably all stemmed from the allegations of that little Rod made. You know, there's that whole lawsuit going on from little Rod, and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, when this comes out, I told you guys this was going to happen in a live a while ago. So I'm telling you right now, when this comes out, it, that, that stuff Lil Rod said about him having hidden cameras in every bedroom, in every bathroom, in every room in his house, I guarantee you there's going to be something on those search warrants looking for the evidence that is on those. I promise you that is a thing that's going to happen. You're going to, need, you're going to need to watch for that in the future. I'll come back on here in a while and I'll be like, I told y'all so. I told y'all. Um, so yeah, at this point, there's just like a federal, which federal means national. Like they got both coasts. Imagine East Coast and West Coast. Homeland Security, dog. Homeland Security are serious as a heart attack, dog. Let me just tell you right now, when I did my uh, human trafficking trainings uh, in the state of Florida every year, these dudes were no joke. They're nobody that I would mess with on my best day if they was taking a nap, homie. Just wouldn't do it. It's just not good. They have a coordinated effort from one coast to the other coast, the opposite sides of the damn continent, Pete trying to peel uh, Diddy's wig back right now. They trying to take his life, bro. And uh, you know, it, with what they're trying to get on him, if, I, if any of it has a lick of truth to it, I hope they bury him, bro. I hope they bury him. I hope we just piss all over his reputation. I hope we piss all over his name. I hope he goes down as R, R. Kelly's punk in uh, the federal prison system. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the information that we've got on that right now. And I'm going to take some questions from y'all because I love y'all. I know we jumped right into it. Uh, the first thing I see is Tarek said, Diddy's about to get diddled. Oh yeah, you already know, bro. Like, bro, I'm telling you right now, when it comes to, uh, you know, Homeland Security, if they're after you, dog, you're cooked. You may as well pack your bags. You should put money on your books ahead of time if the Department of Homeland Security is all up on your ass, dog, because you're, you're, you're not getting out of that. It's not going to be good for you. It's going to be bad for your health. Uh, Mr. Waifu Taker said, I went to a doctor's appointment with my mother, and the doctor recommended that I try medication to help keep my anxiety at bay. Uh, wish me luck, JD. Hey, Follow your doctor's instructions if you're on anxiety medication, homie. I wish you luck. I wish you the best. Um, Jimmy James Wu, missed the last live stream. Allison Chains, Down in a Hole, Them Bones. Appreciate you, brother. That's some of my favorite songs from that entire era, homie. Um, what do you guys think? I need help in the chat. Help in the chat. I'm going to read some more supers when Jax gets back because she was screen saving those while I was talking real fast. Help in the chat. Who thinks Diddy's guilty? I need a G for guilty. I need an L for not guilty. Who thinks Diddy actually did this stuff? Anybody buying Diddy's shit? Because he has said that all of this, um, Diddy has adamantly said that Diddy uh, didn't do it. He said Diddy didn't do none. Diddy didn't do none. I don't see not a single person who thinks that Diddy is innocent in this. TFS official, I appreciate you. Yo, chap going crazy, dog. Chat going crazy. Look at all you beautiful animals. Hell yeah, man. That's what's up. Yo, we got Trev in the house. I think I seen the cat. The cat is in the house. We got Abby and we got Miss Blaze in the house. Yo, thank you guys for keeping this chat safe. Thank you for bringing out the pew pews and the and the twatapults, uh, to keep out the trolls, man. 
Ashley, money for treats for the new baby. Hey, thank you. Um, big love and respect to you, Jack Zero and the new baby. You should name her Pello. <laughs> you should name her Pello. Jeez. Oh, uh, yo, everybody. Okay, so we got one person. The German kid thinks that uh, Diddy is innocent. Okay, I've only seen one L and it's the German kid and he, he bumped it in twice. Now, you can't vote twice on this, homie. I'll take your one L and I respect your opinion. We're all allowed that. Uh, Mrs. Nolan Void, I'm about to be homeless, sis. I'm so sorry to hear about that. Have you looked for local resources in your area? Because I know that there's a lot of people that are facing that type of thing right now. So there's a lot of extra resources out there. Um, Masterson and Diddy will share a cell. Brian Clark, I do not think that that's accurate because, so what Diddy's facing is federal. It's federal. The, the, the Department of Homeland Security raided his houses on both coasts. The stuff that, that Masterson did, that's just California state. So there's no way that, um, you know, he might catch California state charges as well before this is all through. But right now what he's facing, it's much more terrifying. It's terrifying. Them feds is scary as hell. Um, so let's see. We got Ethereum Dush. I think that's how that's pronounced, Tommy. Huge fan. Never been to prison. Never planned to, but your content resonates with me. Keep killing it. Yo, homie, I don't have fans. I just have friends, dog. So big internet hug, man. And I'm glad that you're here. Thank you for being here, family. Definitely don't go to prison. Prison sucks ass, bro. Prison eats ass with a slurpy straw and a spork from KFC. And uh, yeah, it's no good. We still got people dropping G's in the chat. Everybody thinks that this dude is guilty. Chat, we're doing G's in the chat if you think that, uh, that Diddy is guilty. L's in the chat if you think that he's not. The German kid, relent. Relent. We see you, bro. You need some extra attention today. You need your gold star, bro. Stop spamming. Um, damn, I can't even keep up with how many people are dropping these G's, man. Uh, Diddy be smoking Jeffrey. Damn, bro. Okay, so look, man. Uh, David Gosa thinks that uh, Diddy's... Innocent too. The Bowtie Bandit. Innocent only because innocent until proven guilty. And you know what? That is fair, homie. That is fair. I just see such a crazy pattern. Fatal 88. Thank you so much, homie. Um, so let's see. Them boys in the feds gonna poke him up. You know, he might get poked up in the feds for sure, bro. Um, you know, like here's the thing. I was talking with one of my good friends last night, and uh he was like, Man, the only reason. The only reason that they even put, uh, yo, intellectual classes, iconic classes. I'm sorry, man. I see your G's, homie. Big love and respect. My homie was saying the only reason that they even convicted R. Kelly was because his music fell off so bad. He did how many remixes of that shit did he do? I don't know. It was like 30. That last album that he put out was just remixes upon remixes of songs. He was like, if he would have stayed making good music, they'd never put him in prison. <laughs> I died when he said that. Different strokes. Who is Diddy going to snitch on to get away? I don't think there's anyone they want more than Diddy, homie. I think they want Diddy more than anyone. Diddy is like top dog of all of this crap that's going on. It is bad news bears, bro. It is not a good look. It is bad, bad behavior. You know how he has that bad boy thing going on, bro? Yeah, um, they, they didn't mean that you could human traffic and grab dudes' buttholes like a bowling ball. Uh, that's not what they meant, bro. That's not what you... <laughs> It's not what you should be trying to do out there. Tarek said maybe one of his dumb little dances can save him for a couple minutes for them shiny bracelets. Yo, that's what's up, dog. I'd love to see it. Get it on tape. We'll all do the, the TikTok dance, the Diddy dance. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nope. Oh, cuffed up. Oh, stuffed up. Uh, sorry. I'll never dance again. I'm going to dance again. I'm going to do it. I'm going to dance. It's going to be terrible. I love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. We still getting G's in this bitch, bro. We getting all the G's in this bitch. That's crazy. Um, all love, all love JD. It's a G for me. Get the wood chipper. Hey, Jax. Yeah. Wood chipper. Wood chipper. So, hey, um, let's see. Let's see. G, uh, guilty. It's federal money. Once they write those warrants, they want their conviction. That is facts, bro. That is facts. And the feds don't go after cases they don't think they can win, homie. The feds have a 98.2% conviction rate. They, If they want you, they go wrap you up, dog. You, you, may, you may as well just put a bow on yourself, bro. Because you, it's... When it is the United States of America 
versus Sean Combs, when it's the United States of America versus J.D. DeLay, when the feds are on you, bro, you're done. You're cooked. Babe, could you grab those supers for me? Because I missed a couple supers because I was talking real long. <laughs> I'm trying to catch up, but yeah. Do you want the phone? Uh, yeah, yeah. Run me. Um, Diddy Jet was just tracked to the Caribbean island. Damn, dude, really? Yo, that's crazy. If that's... I, I, I didn't see that before I jumped on. Um, it would not surprise me at all whatsoever if Diddy ran to the Caribbean on this case, man. Um, so Jerry Bloodfang, let's talk Diddy. You already know, homie. Uh, democracy Enjoyer. I also have a rescue dog. Her name is Dinah. Yo, I love rescues, bro. Like, I've always wanted a Frenchie, uh, but I wasn't going to buy one from a breeder because I don't like the way that they treat the dogs. So when we got offered a rescue Frenchie, I was like, damn, this is perfect. Uh, Boa Omega said, Diddy didn't delete himself. Uh, said it first, G. Yo, he might end up that way, bro. He might end up that way. He might not Epstein himself. <sighs> You know what I'm saying? We gonna have to see, dog. Um, let's see. Jessica W. Diddy definitely needed this. Thank you for keeping us in the loop. And thank you for all the work you do with sobriety. You have helped my cousin in many times of weakness. Jessica, thank you so much. And please give your cousin a big ass hug for me. I'm so proud of both of y'all. I love you so much, sis. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, Segura Bloodfang. Diddy does a diddle. Yeah, facts, bro, facts. He be diddling grown-ass men, bro. How are you going to be a rapper and be out there diddling grown-ass men against they will and shit? Uh, Mrs. Virginia. Uh, hey, there, from North Carolina. So high-profile people in jail always go into protective custody, like Jeff McDonald, Menendez Brothers, Scott Peterson, thanks. So they don't always go into protective custody. It depends on where they go. And, uh, you know, kind of like it's a case by case basis, but a lot of them do. A lot of them end up that way. Tarek said, Diddy's about to get diddled. Kyle said, uh, love your videos. Big love from AK Arkansas. Hell yeah, man. That's what's up. Tarek, you my homie, bro. I love you. Um, so look, I think we're caught up on those. Is it Alaska? It might be, yeah, it's Alaska. Sorry, my bad, homie. Um, let's see, Tarek, Sean Epstein Combs. Yo, <laughs> that's wild, dog. Hey, Jax, can you look up real quick and see if you can find anything on uh, Diddy's plane being tracked to the Caribbean within the last like little bit here? Um, Charles and Christina, guilty, I agree. Wood chipper, hell yes, sis. Um, and Brian, Brian and Christina, sorry. Uh, Esteban Riviera, which rescue or shelter did you get the pup from? We got the pup from a friend who actually, um, the pup was in a bad situation and somebody got the pup out of the bad situation and then brought the pup to us. So we were really stoked. We didn't go to an actual rescue. This dog didn't actually have to go to like a, a rescue spot for us to be able to no, uh, adopt. The Frenchie Distribution Center is <laughs> us. Brian Clark, thank you so much, brother. Big love and respect to you. Terakeet, yo, that is a dope name, Terakeet. I've decided to stop drinking today. Thanks for your example and positivity. Yo, I'm gonna just tell you this right now, Terakeet. I have more fun, dead ass sober, hanging out with y'all than I ever did out there acting stupid, man. I think you're gonna love it and I'm proud of you. The first step is always the hardest. Uh, Warrior PI, hey JD, been watching your content for a while. I love your energy, your tenacity, and your fire. Keep up the good work, brother. God bless. Yo, I love you so much, brother. Thank you, I appreciate you. Anti-gov. Anti-government said, when I was locked up, I seen how messed up our justice system was. Uh, guy with 300 counts of CP got probation, so I beat him up and took his commissary. Uh, and while locked up, my dad passed a cancer. Yo, look, I applaud you on, on the beating and the extortion, and I'm sorry about your dad. You know, that's all of our worst nightmare. That's all of our worst nightmare when we're locked up is that one of our people is not going to make it and we're not going to be there to be able to say goodbye. So I'm sorry, brother. Rest in peace, pops, man. Um, my life is a complete, uh, complex, pishit, pest. 
I don't know how to pronounce that, but you dope as hell. I like that. Uh, what do you call a wall when you use uh, when you use to dig graves? A barrier. Oh damn, bro, we getting them we getting them cemetery dad jokes in this bitch. Thank you so much, homie. I appreciate you. <clears throat> so look, um, no ex extradition treaty with the USA. Is that true about the the, the Caribbean? That can't be true about the Caribbean. Does the Caribbean not have extradition? Were you able to find anything, Jaxie Lizzie? It says, Diddy's private jet track to Caribbean Island amid raids in the U.S. That's what I Damn! Y'all brought the breaking news while I was on here bringing the breaking news. You see why this community is the best community ever? You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for putting me up on that. Diddy's plane has just been tracked to the Caribbean. So his house in LA is getting raided. His house in Miami is getting raided. And he saw this coming. You knew he saw this coming. Bro, bro was sweating, dog. So he took off, man. He took off. He got out of here. He's in the Caribbean right now, sweating it out. But I think that they do have extradition. I think the US and the Caribbean do have extradition. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong on that. Well, I'm going to predict this. He'll end up in Argentina where there's no extradition. So look, that could very much be. Diddy might have flown. He might have seen this coming. He might have figured this was happening. He might have also got tipped off because Diddy, Diddy is connected. Diddy is powerful. Um, he might have got, uh, you know, tipped off that this was going to happen. But if he did, I really don't think his sons would have been there. I think he would have taken his sons. You would think... I mean, maybe the evidence only points at him, but he could have definitely taken his plane to the Caribbean and then had a way out of the Caribbean knowing that they would track his plane. That would be a really smart move. That would be a really smart way to throw him off, bro. He could have landed with his plane in the Caribbean and, you know, been out on a boat or however he needed to get out of there. Um, you know, he could be headed somewhere like Argentina, where they don't have extradition back to the United States. Now, here's the thing. Extradition with the U.S., um, you cannot have extradition with the U.S., but if it's a big enough case, it's, it's still real choppy, bro. You know, if it's a federal case and they want you bad enough, they, they're going to fight to get you. You ain't going to really wrestle too hard with the, the United States federal government uh, about getting somebody who's wanted back here. They're going to do some craziness, bro. Um, yeah, it really depends on uh, what country he ends up in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, tour buses are stopping in front of his house during the raid. I saw that. That's hilarious. That's part of the tour now. You can see Diddy's house getting raided today and today only. Department of Homeland Security is pulling Diddy's stuff out of his home to the curb. Dan Schneider up next needs to go to jail. Big facts, Jakai. Big facts, homie. Um... Yo, Abby, thank you so much for dropping the merch link. We do have, a, you know, I have my own clothing company. We got merch, convictclothing.net. And I did drop a link to one of our bundles down below if you want to check it out. Um, Nathan Wober, love the, your story and the community stuff you do. Thank you so much, homie. So for those of you who just jumped in, man, because we got a lot of people up in here right now, welcome. Glad to have you here, family. Um, just so you know. Diddy's house in LA is being raided as we speak by the Department of Homeland Security and at the same time with the dope rhymes that he never kicked because I, I never thought Diddy was dope. Babe, do you ever think Diddy was dope? No. I never thought Diddy's, I thought Diddy was trash the entire time, but while his shit's getting raided in LA, his shit's getting raided in Miami too. That is coast to coast, bro. They got him on both coasts. They are slapping him, bro. They got a federal Department of Homeland Security warrant to wrap him up and check his house out. They're pulling people out in cuffs. They're pulling guns out of both houses. They hemmed up two of his sons. Two of his sons got wrapped up in this uh, this uh, warrant, bro. Now, it's not determined yet whether they're going to let him go or whether his sons are going to stay in custody. Um, we're still just, this is breaking news. We're right in the process of this. But I would definitely assume um, that these two these two uh, houses being raided at the same time by the feds on a search warrant out of the Southern District of New York, I would assume they know way more than, than he thinks they know. I would assume that there is a case coming. I would assume that there is an arrest warrant coming. He probably knows that, which is why he fled to the Caribbean. They just 
tracked his plane to the Caribbean. Now, I don't think he stayed in the Caribbean because the Caribbean has extradition back to the U.S. So I would imagine that he probably jetted from there, you know, left his plane somewhere where, you know, they could throw the scent and then left somewhere else. I think Diddy's on the run. What do you guys think? Do you guys think Diddy's on the run right now? Give me an R if you think Diddy's on the run. Give me an N if you think Diddy's not on the run. Um, Tarek, you should look into Streamlabs. No censorship. You get to keep almost all the Super Chats. Works with YouTube Lives. That's dope, homie. Hell yeah. Thank you, Tarek. Um, and we got Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews. Maybe we get the truth that he had something to do with Biggie's death or Tupac's, bro. Or Tupac's. Real deal. So let's, let's run down here in the chat. What y'all actually think, man? You guys think that he's on the run? Or not. Lay, appreciate you. Just saw that. Big love, family. Um, Zachary Krolik, appreciate you. Yeah, man. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> we got everybody basically except Sunflower Beth does not think he's on the run. I respect you, sis. Um, there's a lot of people in here who think he's on the run. I personally believe that he's on the run. I think, bro, like, look, He's too rich to run? Hell no, he ain't too rich to run, homeboy. What do you mean? If you had all the resources and money you could buy, would you not run if you knew the feds was coming to your house? Shit, I would. I would, and I'm not even a criminal no more, bro. I'm not trying to get booty checked. He, he likes to booty check other men. He don't like to have his booty checked by the feds. That's crazy. Yo, look, man, like, if he, if he got tipped off that this was about to go down, he would definitely flee. And I definitely predict that he is fleeing. He might be on his way to, uh, to Epstein Island. I just seen it in the chat. You might be right. Um, you know, he might have grabbed them island boys and took off down there because they won't press no charges for that weird stuff. Hell, they're twin brothers. And they make out with each other all the time. They're doing handies on OF. It's crazy as hell. Sorry. <laughs> Anytime you talk about those twin brothers giving each other skiing lessons, Jax flips out. She's like, oh. <laughs> Yo, Warrior Pie, what's up, man? By the way, bro, the pie in my name is like the number and so on. Wanted to let you know. Big love and respect, homie. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here, dude. Um, run, run, rub, rub. He's not on the run. He's on the rub. He definitely likes to rub people, dudes particularly. Um, yo, Andrea St. Clair, thank you so much, sis. Yeah, there's, everybody's talking about this run, bro. Monster on the run, hell yeah. That's what I want to name this little French bulldog we just got today. Hey, Monner, Monner. Hi, Monner, what are you doing? I think, I think she likes to be called Monner. Um, I do too. I think it fits her. Yeah, that's what's up. See, she did not like the idea of the name Monner for the Frenchie until she met the Frenchie. Oh, Sorry, Bubby. Now that she met Monner, she's like, yo, the name fits. The name Monner fits. You guys, this is the newest member of our family. Hi, oh, baby. Oh, yes, kisses. She's oh, really yes, kisses. Have the two of them right <laughs> her and Zero she like to play. To to so her, her and Zero love each other. They want to be able to play, but they get real loud real quick. So we had to separate the two of them <laughs> so that I could jump on here and do a live. But that is the new member of our family, you guys. Little baby Monner. Um, oh, ill batteries. Did you hear the Russian police caught the terrorists who killed over a hundred people on the attack in Moscow and fed dude his own ear during an interrogation? Yo, look, man, they not only fed one of them dudes they ear, they took another one of them dudes and they hooked up a car battery to his testicles, bro. They put a car battery, like jumper cables on dudes nuts. You guys seen jumper cables? Have you? Do you guys know how to charge a battery? Jumper cables with those little teeth on them, the little metal teeth. They they hooked dudes sack up to that, bro, and started started just tasing the ever loving hell out of that dude's balls. They fed the other one his own ear. They cut it off of him, fed him, and then they dragged these dudes through the streets of Moscow. Took him into court, just all slumped, bro. Dude's got a big old thing on his ear like this because his ear ain't there no more. And he's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yo, that is wild, bro. But you know what? I don't blame him. You start taking flight on innocent citizens, I do not care, bro. Information to prove that you did it, I don't care what they do to you. And I think that's what we should do with school shooters too in this country. You're found guilty? Okay, cool. Bye. Like, I don't know why we let them breathe, bro. 
I don't know why we let people hurt innocent citizens and then we're just like, oh, well, here, here, you're going to, you're going to get, you know, a cot and, you know, you're going to get three hot meals a day. Pfft. No, nah, dog, not on my watch. Screw that. Uh, Unitas 81 said, God bless what you do, brother. The hardest part of every uh, day wasn't getting sober. It was coming to grips with my own thoughts and feelings, bro. That is the biggest thing. That is the hardest thing. I always say getting sober is real easy. Staying sober is hard as hell, man. You really got to address all your stuff on the inside to be able to do that. Um, let's someone, see. Someone asked if your case is dad. Why are we talking? We do not need to talk about queso in my stream. I don't look like queso. Queso don't look like me. I don't know why. Stop doing that. Get that dude. Ah! I just spilled a monster. You see what God did to you? God damn it. Yo, Gmod, what's up, man? Thank you. Do you think his girlfriend will be questioned too? He got a girlfriend? If he got a girlfriend, she definitely going to get taken in for questioning if she ain't with him right now. 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, James Lopeman said, badass dog. Congratulations. Thank you so much. She's going to be such a good part of the family. Yo, Trev, I love you, bro. Thank you so much for being here, big dog. Um, Diddy's effed. Sucks to be him. If he did the crime, he needs to do the time. 1,000%. And I think they're going to be able to open this up. I think there's going to be so much more because, like, there's, like, there's a lot of evidence that he blew up Kid Cuddy's car, too. You know what type of charges they give you for blowing up a car? One of my best friends in the state of Florida, he robbed a drug dealer. And they came back. And they blew up his car and they ended up being sloppy as shit and getting caught doing it. And they gave them like 30 years each just for that. It's like a 30 year charge, homie. And that's if you don't go federal. That's just a state Florida charge. Anti-government said, did 30 days in the hole for beating up a chomo and taking his stuff. Uh, by the way, Kentucky is not the place uh, you want to do time. The Commonwealth sucks. Bro, Commonwealths are crazy because they'll just do whatever they want. They make their own playbook in Commonwealth. It's crazy as hell, man. Um, all right, look, 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 look. Those Russian memes are real. Hell yeah, bro. Russian and I, I think Russian interrogation techniques would make a great name for like a tech death band, bro. Like some gnarly ass <laughs> band, bro. That would be sick as hell. Uh, 20 years sober, Sunflower Beth. Hell yeah. Um, let's see, Z. Let's see, Z. All right, you guys. So look, we've talked about everything that we were going to talk about today. I know there's a lot of people in the chat. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here and hanging out with us today. This isn't going to be a super long chat like normal. Um, I just wanted to come on here and give you guys the breaking news. And then y'all gave me some breaking news. So I appreciate y'all, each and every one of you. Big love and respect to the mods, man. They make this whole thing possible. Um, and big shout out to Alan, man. Rest in peace. I lost one of my kids um, in... December 28th of, of uh, 2022. It's his birthday today. So I'm going to go spend some time with my family and just celebrate and remember uh, my kid that's not here anymore. So I leave. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are going to see us back live soon. Until then, one love y'all. Be good or be good at it.